Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. In today's episode we're gonna examine a little bit MS SQL, exporting a huge amount of data, a huge amount of load or payload to Excel file in a very very simple way, in a very quick way. In order to do that obviously we have to use the MS SQL database engine. Here I've opened it for you and I have uh, downloaded the sample and the most useful database in the universe AdventureWorks 2019 and from here I'm gonna export the which table we're gonna see right now the persons that persons table okay I'm gonna find that now let's examine a little bit how many rows it has inside and how many we can extract them in precise I'm gonna loading now the uh, rows. We have 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 here. It writes how many rows it has. It has 19,972 rows. Now, in order to export them into Excel file, we have to do the following. Stay with me. It's very simple. I go above the AdventureWorks 2019 database I click right okay and from tasks I say export data okay oops here it's gonna open a window I say next and here the uh, MS SQL wants to choose a data source our data source will be our uh, database engine and from here it wants an authentication which depends from you for my example I'm gonna use the uh, Windows authentication for yours you can use your uh, credentials your usernames and your password it depends on you and from here down here below you're gonna choose the database which database you want to extract the data I'm gonna use the AdventureWorks 2019. I say next. And once this uh, window wants to choose a destination where I want to export the data. From here, I'm gonna use the Microsoft Excel. From here, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna use the Microsoft Excel 2016. I'm gonna, we're gonna get an error. Here wants the Excel file path we're gonna get it right now from the excel files i'm gonna cl click right i'm gonna say new mine's in turkish yours is gonna write new i create a new microsoft excel sheet i'm gonna say test db i'm gonna name it test db Okay, I'm gonna choose it, and from here we're gonna get an error. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it together. And we say next, and say Microsoft Ace OLAP B 16.0 cannot be accessed by the system that data. I'm, <laughs> I'm translating you to English from Turkish, okay? Don't worry. Okay, I click OK. I open my test DB file. And from here, I open my Excel file. And we have to rename the file to, I press F12. We're going to translate the file type to Excel 197 to 2003 template. Like that. We translate to Excel 97 to 2003 worksheet workbook for the precise I say save it's okay I close my Excel file I delete the Excel 2000 from here I delete my presently uh, 2016 file and I keep the old one okay I close it now and from here I choose 97 
I browse my file. Okay. And from here I say next. And we're ready to go. Copy data from once and more tables or views. Okay, I say next. I'm going to show you also the second option, how you can do it. I say next. I go to persons table. I choose it. Next. Next. Run immediately. Finish. And we're waiting to extract our data. <laughs> Here it says copying persons 9,000 and I don't know how many rows, 40,000, 60,000, 90,000, and all mm -hmm. are succeed. From here we close our uh, important export wizard. And we open our Excel folder, which we uh, created the uh, Excel file. I open my testdb.xls. From here, down here, you see the persons have been deployed, exported to our uh, Excel worksheet. Here, everything we have the uh, modified date. I'm going to open it a little bit to be seen. You see, every single row has been copied to our Excel workbook. Go all the way down. Okay, 19,973 rows. That's great. Now, we're going to see the second option by uh, writing a query. We're going to export the data by writing a query. Okay, we close our uh, uh, Excel book, workbook. I will not. Okay, we come here. We go once again to AdventureBox database above. We click right from tasks. We say export. Here we say next. It's it wants a data source from our view. We're gonna choose our MS SQL data source. I'm going to use the again the user authentication. I choose the AdventureWorks database. I say next. It wants a data source from us. I choose the Microsoft Excel workbook. We're going to browse it again. Test DB. I say next. And from here, this time I'm not going to say copy data from one or more tables or views. I'm going to say write a query to specify the data to transfer. I say next. And from here, I'm going to write a query. Select. What we're going to select? Uh, let me see. Okay, first name. Select first name. As first name. First name. Uh, comma. What? What? What else? Oh, where are we? Where are we? Where? Are we? Where? Are we? What happened? Okay. What else? We're gonna grab last name. Uh, okay. R grab also the middle name. Middle name. S. Middle name. Oh. We do. Exactly the opposite. Okay. What are what, where are we now? Okay. Middle name. S. Middle name. Comma. And for the last last name. S. last name okay from person dot person table this is our table which we're gonna extract the data mm -hmm. 
we have an error here first ah okay it says the first nama it's not a column which can be found first name press next we pass the uh, choir test okay it's it's working select source tables and views okay we're gonna extract three columns from the person that persons table run immediately and finish and here we are waiting our data to be exported okay the data has been exported I say close let's open our folder which holds the Excel file from here I'm gonna open the persons DB and you see down here we have our query table and every single column has been extracted do we have to make it a little bit big to be seen you see we have the middle name the last name I'm gonna close a little bit the middle name and the name you see we have 19,000 rows in a very quick and short amount 19,973 as the previous example I will not save it I'll close the folder and that video was like this thank you for watching me if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe in order to help me to go to more audience and to be seen more because obviously I'm a new channel and I need more audience I think this is the last time that I'm gonna say that I'm a new channel because I already uploaded many videos and liked from your side thank you very much for your support and I will see you in the next video until then have a nice day and be safe bye bye